This is a little song to say hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. Hello. Welcome to Drinking Beer. My name is John Pluckett, and this is uh, another episode in the Harvest series of reviews. Uh, I'm going to be sampling for you today Schmaltz Brewing Company's Coney Island Freaktoberfest. I'm assuming this is a, uh, a Marizen Lager. I don't know for sure, but we're going to be trying it out right now, right here. I guess it's kind of a joke. <laughs> they, uh, they made it 6.66 uh, ABV, you know. Ooh. Blood Red Lager. That ought to be interesting. They're always willing to take a chance and be really adventurous. So I always look forward to a Schmaltz uh, beer, whether it's Coney Island or Hebrew. Uh, but... Smells odd. Ooh, it doesn't smell like a lager at all. Not in the bottle, at least. I'm gonna. We're gonna get this in the uh, in the glass. Once again, since I thought well, I'm, it's a lager, definitely. I thought it was a Marys. I'm gonna use my Sam Adams Oktoberfest mug as tradition now. I don't know. Here we go with the pour. Oh shit! <laughs> oh, if that's not badass, wow. That's cool as fuck. It's like, it, oh wow, that was cool. It's kind of thick and red. <laughs> I, I didn't get this last year because I, I just, I don't know why, but man, that's, that is cool. This is like a part, this, I mean, it pours and the, the presentation is like a party beer. This coming out of the bottle, so unexpected. That was, that was cool. So, let's hope the uh, the smell's kind of not giving off much. This looked very thick, and the bubbles coming up, I know you probably can't see it because it's very opaque. The bubbles are kind of struggling to get up, so I'm thinking this is going to be kind of a thicker, maltier beverage. But, you know, let's get to it. Let's find out what we've got in store here. Get that hair off the mug. And uh, let's celebrate Oktoberfest properly with Coney Island Freaktoberfest. Cheers. It's a Marison style lager. It is that. More maltier. Definitely overall heavy mouthfeel. Heavy heavy finish. Wet finish, definitely. But it's unmistakably a Marison. But damn it. That's not one of the funnest Marisons I've ever seen. <laughs> I have to hand it to Schmaltz. Once again, bottle wise, I mean the bottle is really cool looking. They've got a lot of stuff going on here. They always pack it full of information. But <laughs> the presentation is just insane. They really know how to go for the Halloween thing. And that's what they're kind of going on. Instead of the Oktoberfest thing, they're playing in with the Oktoberfest and the Marizen, and they're tying it in with the frights and, and <laughs> of Halloween. And they did it so well. Man, I don't know why I put off getting this for so long. This is good. I, I like this a lot. Taste-wise, it's one of your thicker Marisons, but it's still palatable for a uh, an Oktoberfest beer. A little bit heavier to get through, I would say, than a traditional Marison. But it's well worth it for the color and the... Pre I mean, everything's just... This is a party beer. It's just like I said from the get-go. This is a, a party beer. Schmaltz Brewing Company, Coney Island, Freaktoberfest. Go out and get yourself some because it definitely, I mean, it's a little bit pricey because it comes in a four pack, but just the overall presentation and everything, I mean, it will really turn your party up to like 11. So that's been my review of Schmaltz Brewing Company's Coney Island, Freaktoberfest. I hope you enjoyed it. So until we meet again, this is John Pluckett for Drinking Beer. Happy trails and keep drinking. Into my eyes. Now